Hi, I'm Jerry Green. Uh, I'm here to help us think about this term, conscious embodiment. Or should we say embodied consciousness? Um, the words aren't as important as the experience. And Wendy Palmer's article on the, uh, in the introduction to this course says it best for thinking. Um, I'd like to um, I'd like to demonstrate it. Uh, Aikido helps us understand the wisdom of the head, the heart, and the hara as separate and distinct. So I'm gonna um, let me tell you what's on my mind, and then drop below that to what's in my heart. And then take you deeper to what's in my hara, what's in my center, what's in my still point. What's on my mind is doing these videos for this course that I wrote. Um, what's in my heart is um, some nervousness about filming them, feelings of, uh, I guess it's fear that I won't, uh, won't be good enough. It's a shadow that's been with me most of my life. And um, some anxiousness about that. Some excitement is here, too. I have a uh, passion about this subject, so I'm excited to uh, demonstrate this. Um, and um, any other feelings? There's some joy. There's some joy. So there's nervousness, fear, and joy in my heart. I could speak to you about those feelings. And that's different from telling you what conscious embodiment is or embodied consciousness. I'm going to leave that to Wendy and let you read that. Um, so I've brought my attention down into my torso to really speak the feelings that are here. I feel the shift from the idea in my mind. How do I, how do I talk about this? What does the name mean? And uh, I'll drop below the emotional center into my uh, still point, into my hara. And let go of even the feelings that I've just expressed to you and see what's what's underneath that. Uh, Hara is a center for um, wondering, wondering what's, um, what's not known or even felt in the heart. So it begins with uh, accepting, um, not knowing, opening to um, some potential. There's potential in doing this series of videos. Uh, the word of applied Aikido is getting spread. Uh, it'll reach people, I don't know. What else could I imagine or intuit about this subject that's in my mind? Um, this is the source of intuition. When I can still my heart and quiet my thoughts, I can open up to a, uh, a sense of um, connection, a sense of purpose. I'm accomplishing something. I really don't know what it is, because this is just a piece of it. Um, I'm imagining this will connect me with a lot of people I don't know who may read this and get into this course. Uh, I'm also imagining that, um, that George Leonard would be proud of me. I came from a dojo uh, where teaching Aikido principles off the mat was pioneered. As a pioneer, we kind of have to do this 
alone, or at least first. That's the scary part. It's also the exciting part. And it's the not knowing. So I also find in my, in my belly um, a willingness, an interest to, uh, to do this. And I find that my thoughts are not quite as uh, fluent as if I were to give you a lecture. Um, so now I have three sources of information. I have the topic. I can read Wendy's essay and remember all the details. I can um, sense the topic emotionally and my relationship to the topic by dropping my attention into my center of my chest, of my torso, my heart. And I can speak about the feelings. It's different. This lesson is really about distinguishing head from heart and the function of head from heart and hara. When I'm in my center, as Wendy pointed out, the, our culture doesn't support really connecting the still point, the center, the hara, with the heart. The solar plexus is an easy place to have a split. So I feel, um, I feel like I have more resources at my disposal if I can be in all three of these places. Uh, that's conscious embodiment or an embodied consciousness. Now let's do it together. Take a breath. Notice what's in your mind. Are you thinking about the subject of the lesson? Are you still thinking about the day or the morning? Are you thinking about what you're going to accomplish? Just name the thought. Don't go into a story about it. Take a breath with me. Bring your attention, tap your sternum, bring your attention down to your chest and your torso. Feel for your heart. Feel for your feelings, your emotions. Does this feel new and strange? Are you a little bit afraid or nervous? Are you venturing into territory where you shouldn't be going? Uh, is this too something, airy-fairy? Are you excited about it? Are you having fun yet? And I'll give you a second to just settle into your feelings. Imagine reporting them to a significant other or um, writing about them from this place. You're embodied already. You're in your heart. This is pretty popular these days, separating heart from head. Not so well known is dropping deeper. So let's take another breath. See if that breath can fill... Fill your belly with that breath and just notice, notice what's there. What I notice is um, space, openness, possibility. Wonder. Now let's play with doing this physically. I want to feel the weight of my head. I'm going to let it sway to the right and to the left. You can follow me on this. Drop it forward a little bit and drop it back. Notice when the weight of my head is equally distributed from in front of the center of my neck and in back. 
So now I'm just dealing with weight. Gravity's attraction to my head. And let's see if I can let go of my neck a little more and see if it falls to the right or to the left. Maybe give it a little shove to get the idea, get the feeling of it. And find a place where it feels restful for my head to be on my neck. Drop your attention into your torso. Feel your heart. Feel your torso as a, a unit of your body in gravity. Feel it leaning in front of your pelvis and then leaning behind your pelvis and leaning to the left and leaning to the right. And lean forward and backward, a little bit less each time so you find a place where you're kind of in the middle over your, over your pelvis. You can do the same thing right and left. Just slow down, balance your heart over your pelvis. Now drop your attention into your belly. And if you're seated, roll your pelvis forward, letting your spine respond. So you can feel when your weight goes in front of the center of your sits bones and comes back behind. And as you do this motion, notice how your spine responds, and how your head responds. As I roll forward, my spine extends. As I roll back, my spine collapses a bit. And find a centered place. And let's just sit here for a minute. See what this alignment of head, heart, and hara does. Your consciousness is in your body, in your whole body. This is conscious embodiment. I hope you enjoy your lesson.